Good Thursday! What do we have here? We have a Wilton Armatale, I think that's how you pronounce it, A-R-M-E-T-A-L-E, -E. Wilton Armatale Skillet. I posted a blurb about this. It looked new when I bought it, but it arrived bashed and dented in a broken box. It was so upsetting! The auction for this on eBay made this look new. I couldn't believe it, and I got it for a decent price. I took a hammer to it. I pretty much fixed this side, but there's still a little bit of a dent here I couldn't get out. I hit it with a hammer over and over, so it's got some scars. I didn't want to just chuck it. I got some hammer dents right about here. How sad, because this was in beautiful condition. Now underneath, it says Wilton, Columbia, 1976, and it's got the little RWP. Now there's a misconception about Wilton Armatale. If you search for Wilton Armatale on eBay, you'll see that a lot of them say pewter. The truth is supposed to be that it just looks like pewter. They have two variations. They have highly polished, that looks like silver allowing people to buy items that look like silver but they're not and the light gray, the matte gray, that looks more like pewter. Wilton has been around since the 1800s. Wilton Armitale, I believe, was invented in like 1963. That's when they started calling this Armitale. This is a 76. There was an entire cookware set designed by a woman named Mary Bond this is iron. It's really beautiful. It's, it's really beautifully made. Flattened rivets. No rivets on the inside. We're going to do a lead test today. Just because we can! I bought the cheapest swabs that, that I could find. Lead test swab. But I thought we'd we do a little lead test on the bottom. We'll scratch a little bit with some sandpaper just to bear the metal a little bit since it's so old. It's very heavy. We should weigh it. Oh, it's two pounds, fifteen and a half ounces. That's a heavy aluminum pan. You gonna turn off or what? So like Magnolite. Magnolite is made of an aluminum and magnesium mix. This is supposed to be predominantly aluminum with other metals. I have not been able to find out which metals that is. The recipe. What is in there? It is not magnetic. It's not supposed to be pewter, so you don't have to worry about lead. We're going to do that test anyway. Why don't we do that lead test? Inquiring minds. I've got a little bit of sandpaper here. It says to dip the swabs in water. I think the foundry is closed now. The family opted out of Wilton. But they were selling them right up until recently. In fact, you can find a couple of videos on YouTube where they're talking about the Wilton pieces and how these can go up to a thousand degrees. Here you've got... Mustard yellow is no lead. Dark red is lead. We just have to do this on principle. Some people are afraid that there's lead in here. We'll, we'll just, let me just scratch a little bit here. Bear some of the metal. Here we go. Wet swab with water. Shake off any liquid. And here we go. 30 seconds. If there's lead, it's supposed to turn dark red. We'll test the handle too. Maybe there's lead in the paint on the handle. It's dark gray from the aluminum, but there's no red. Pretty cool. Let's test the handle. I'm not going to scratch the handle, but maybe the handle is painted with black with lead. It is 76 after all. And, let's see, 
30 seconds. Oh, nothing. The reason I wanted this was because I thought it looked closest to what I've found so far of Julia Child's status pan. It does not have the wood handle, but it has thickness and it does have a slight contour. It might still be a little steep, but if you compare this to the picture of her status pan, it's pretty close. Let's make a couple eggs. Oh. I don't like this game. Oh. Whoa. 